Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can add borders with VBA. So basically what we want to do is we just want to highlight an area and then add the borders. Now this is a common task in normal Excel, but in VBA it has an interesting history, especially if we record a macro. So let's do that. Now if we highlight an area, and then I usually use this record macro down here because it's available on all screens. You can also use the developer tab and then you can record macro down there. But because this is all the, the on every screen, that's the one I always use. So we'll click OK and we'll just do the same thing. On the home menu, we'll just pick a border for everything. Yeah. Now that's all we want to do. So we'll stop the macro and let's have a look at the code by pressing Alt F11. That'll get us into the back end of Excel and we can see what the recorder has come up with. All right, so we'll press Alt F11 and then we'll go into our modules. And there we go. All right, so basically I'll remove this and now we can see sort of uh, the entirety of our code. And you can see just for that simple task, there's quite a bit of code. Now, it might surprise you to know that getting that job done a lot more efficiently, actually it probably won't surprise you to know, can be done with a single line. Yeah, not all of these lines. Yeah, so let's create a, another macro. So let's call it sub and then we'll uh, add borders. Yeah, so add border. Add borders, yeah? All right, so what we want to do is we want to steal from what the recorded code's got. So it's basically the selection, yeah? And we want to choose borders, so it's dot borders, yeah? And then this bit down here, the dot weight is equal to Excel thin. So it's dot weight is equal to Excel thin thin and that if we click to the next line is our one liner so I'll just bring you down we'll just run a little test and then we'll take it to another level so if we have a look at our screen here what we will what we'll do is we'll create an area that's the same size as all of that it's selected we'll press alt f11 to have a look at our code and to see it run in real time and we'll press f8 to kick the procedure off We'll press F8 again, and then finally F8, and our one line replaces our 30 or 40 lines. <laughs> so that's how we do it with a single line, just using the recorded code as our guide. We know selection's part of it, we know border's part of it, and then the weight is Excel thin. Now, let's say we wanted to customize this. Let's say, for example, if I just minimize this a little bit, let's say we wanted, uh, well, let's go with the left edge. Let's say we wanted the left edge to be sort of a different weight. Say you had a border that ran down the side. So the recorded code will give you the answers as well. So we'll press Alt F11 to go in the back end again. Alt F11, oh, I've got a slow cell selected. All right, now what we wanna do is we want to come in here and then we want to say that the left edge, so we'll look for the code, top right, there's the left edge. So we could actually take all of that selection left edge, yeah, so we copy it and then paste it, it's all there. And then it's the weight again, so it's W-E-I-G-H-T, the weight, and then it's equal to not Excel thin, but Excel medium. Let me just move this across so you can see it a little better medium now remember when you're writing code to write it in lowercase so you get the confirmation in uppercase here and here once you've finished the code writing yeah so let me just i'll see if i can't move this across actually you've got to come down move it across okay this is oh dear this is taking up a bit too much real estate so let's move this across and let that will do okay so we'll highlight this again alt f11 and what we'll do is we'll press f8 to kick the procedure off now what we want to do is we want to see it not break and we also want to see the left 
border go to a darker color than the thin. So we'll press F8, F8, it all goes thin, and F8, and let's have a look at what's happened. We've got our left border going bold. Now, you can't teach everyone everything with VBA, but did you see the way that I used what was already there to my advantage? And we've taken our 30 to 40 lines and we've replaced it with a customizable border here with two effective lines of code. This is how you build up your knowledge with VBA. You do something with the recorder, you look at the code, you deconstruct it, and then you apply what you've learnt. And if you do it often enough, after a while, it starts to become second nature and it starts to become much, much easier to write your code clean into VBA, yeah? All right, well, I hope that's helped and I hope you have a fantastic day. All right, take care, everybody.